We're shooting the Solus with an Aero Lahar 30 suppressor, so we figure why not try some S&B 76251 subsonic to see how that sounds. I bet it's probably going to be pretty amazing. All right, here we go. Ready, Ryan? Yep. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> That's pretty effing cool. That sounds amazing. Even though it's been over a year in the making, this is the worst review of the Aero Solus that you will likely see. On the one hand, yeah, I've been around precision rifles, and yeah, I've reviewed bolt actions from Rugers all the way to Barrett's and everything in between. On the other hand, I really wouldn't call myself a PRS perv. My local range max is out at 100 yards, so the only time I can really stretch a bolt gun out is at Uncle Clint's Ranch in Oregon. But after two days, he starts calling me sugar britches and bullies me into leaving. What makes the arrow so problematic for me is that it's just on another level from PRS guns I reviewed in the past. You're getting into foot fetishist levels of PRS with this gun that I have to tell you in all honesty are far beyond my ken in terms of explaining them and I don't care enough to learn because I own zero PRS bolt guns and I will never in my life build out a bolt gun action from scratch with that out of the way. Maybe if I explain why this is such a shitty review, it might help you understand why the Solus might be a great match for you. Reviewing something like the Q-Fix, the Springfield Waypoint, or even the wide-ranging CZ600 bolt action series is easy for me because I can pick up a Ruger American at 300 Blackout, tell you what it is, tell you what you're going to get, tell you whether or not it's worth the price. The Aero Solus is so intimidating because it's eminently customizable. Aero calls it an open source platform, which is part of a complete ecosystem that allows you to use parts from other firearm manufacturers and third party companies and all kinds of calibers and all that. Let me decode this marketing bullshit. If you, unlike me, know exactly what you're doing, you can just go to Aero's website right now and buy just the action for $900 MSRP. I don't know shit about buying actions by themselves, so I ran to Sniper's Hide forums to see what they thought. Yep, here it is. Thoughts on the Aero Precision Solus. Will this make a good PRS riffle? Eureka, we found it. The thread I'm looking for right away, first Google hit. Uh, let's have a look at the first response here. Gay. Never change, internet. Never change. But perusing this thread, it seems like the commenters there are saying that the Solus action is a good deal and five or six hundred dollars cheaper than any other quality integral scope base and recoil lug action available. Great. That means that you can buy the action, fully build it out yourself, making the precision rifle of your dreams using Aero or other companies' components and chassis or whatever if you want to get down to that obsessive compulsive level of detail. And if you do, I applaud you, sir. Now, if you're like me and the idea of building an action makes your butt cheeks sweat with anxiety, then you can just buy a barreled action for a couple hundred dollars more, starting at 1149 MSRP. And if you want the James J. Reeves package, i.e. doing nothing other than charging your credit card, you can get a complete rifle out of the box. The cheapest option starts at 1799 MSRP for a complete rifle. This would be my pick. I like the 6.5 Creedmoor with the Kinetic Research Group Bravo chassis in Saco Green and just be done with it. There are a lot of options available to you if you opt into Solus World. But we're going to focus on the gun that I reviewed today in order to keep this video within my mental capacity and under four hours. I reviewed the full bore PRS competition chassis version of this gun and while it was like shooting from a tank, it was also like walking around with a tank too, super heavy. I first got to shoot the Aero Solus at TriggerCon 2022 over a year ago. Last December, I went to Aero's factory. I got to see the Solus being made from scratch at Aero's brand new facility, which is one of the nicest, cleanest, and highest tech I've ever seen. And I've been to a lot of gun factories. The Solus is made on state-of-the-art machinery with excellent quality control procedures. I also got to see the Lahar suppressor being made, but that'll be in a different video later. I got to shoot a prototype of the complete rifle last December. Finally, this past summer, I took a complete 
production Solus Rifle and Lahar 30 combo to Thunder Ranch. I love going to Thunder Ranch for a lot of reasons, but especially with bolt guns, because first of all, you get the best spotter and color commentator in the game. All right, here we go. This is it. On. Okay, that, ah, that, that was, was too much. Two. Favor left only. Don't call him till you hit him, buddy. All right. Here we go. Center hit. Nice. Ding. Weird, Wonderful. Clint. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, it was Clint. Clint knows the dope off the top of his head. Clint, Jack Daniel, the head instructor there, and Heidi Smith, the president of the ranch and the TRHBIC, all know how to run a bolt gun scary good. We'll talk about Clint's impressions in just a second. The model I used was the 308 competition model using Arrow's excellent, albeit large chassis. Again, 2149 MSRP, but it's still 250 or $350 cheaper than the comparable Daniel Defense Delta 5 Pro I reviewed at Thunder Ranch last year. So it does look like this could save you a few bucks over comparable competition. This gun features a soulless Remington 700 short action and a honed and lapped match grade barrel dropped into the soulless chassis. The bolt body is nitrided 416 stainless steel. It features a swift 60 degree bolt throw, a machined in optic rail, three lug interchangeable bolt head and dual ejectors. The action's pretty smooth. I've felt smoother, but frankly, and I say this with all due respect to my boys at Daniel Defense who make possibly my favorite top end AR-15, but the Solus has a smoother action than the more expensive Delta 5 Pro out of the box at least my review version copy. It's got a massive bolt knob, by the way, if that's your thing. Probably ideal for competition shooters who love them, some big old knobs. You can, of course, change it to nearly anything, though. I would suggest a craps die, Punisher skull, or maybe a rat fink eight ball shifter knob. You can use AICS or AIAW magazines with the Solus. I won't bore you with the distinction, but if you're a casual shooter, just use the AICS mags and call it a day. Super popular, they usually load into the action easier, and Magpul makes them at a reasonable price. The all-aluminum and V-block bedded chassis in this model uses an adjustable magazine catch, adjustable thumb rest, compatibility with AR-15 grips, ARCA and M-lock compatible forend with M-lock slots at 3, 6, and 9, a whopping 11 QD sling sockets, fully adjustable stock, a bag rider, adjustable recoil pad, and is compatible with a night vision bridge or a spigot mount if you want it. It comes with an adjustable trigger tech single stage trigger as well. The website says the trigger is adjustable from one and a half to three pounds, but my trigger was a nice clean 3.25 pounds out of the box thereabouts. And I know most trigger tech triggers top out at four pounds. I bet this is a one and a half to four pound single stage adjustable trigger. Phenomenal trigger, by the way. The honed and lapped M24 match barrel features five eight by 24 muzzle threads, a one in 10 inch twist, Cerakote finish. Oh, it's got oral herpes. Really wet. It's wet. It's that so lussy. <laughs> so lussy. <laughs> it was too easy to just direct thread a Lahar 30 onto the front of this barrel. Solus complete rifles include a sub MOA precision guarantee, but honestly, I think Arrow's selling themselves a little bit short here. The CZ600 range, for example, comes with a sub three quarter MOA guarantee at 100 meters, five shot group with match grade ammo. There's no question that the Arrow could make this same guarantee with the Solus, and I think a three quarter MOA probably plays better from a marketing standpoint than a one MOA. Speaking of all this talk, and we haven't even gotten to the number that everyone wants to know, accuracy, how well did I shoot it? So center to center, half an inch. Half an inch, center to center. And I mean, these are really good. Yeah, we were just shooting off a bipod in the bag, nothing too fancy, and uh, between the trigger and the optic that we've got on there, the Vortex, shooting it suppressed it got the job done. My very first group with this production Solus using the Lahar 30 suppressor was half an inch with five rounds of SMB 308, not even fancy super high-end match ammo, not to mention that Arrow recommends a 40 to 70 round break-in period, and this was well within the break-in period. In fact, it might have been the first five shots from the gun. 
Austin Rex, one of our writers at TFB, the blog side, he did a print review of this gun and he shot the same size groups I did, about a half MOA with similar quality ammo. Pretty impressive to say the least and I'm sure it's capable of better. The Solus also comes with a lifetime warranty. Now back to the ranch. Jack and Heidi ran the Solus up and down the range at the 700 yards and back with the 308, made it look easy. I took the Solus out on Clint's rifle obstacle course, the Punisher, and I was hitting man size five foot eight target silhouettes all the way out to 400 yards without missing from supported standing position or even kneeling. Ryan dismantled the occupants of Clint's truck at about 250 yards, and Clint himself gave us his frank, as usual, impressions of the rifle. Solid stock. I got the idea of no folder. That could be optional. It raises, it backs up at whatever. It's got the good base on it. And you can put whatever stock you want on it. You I could mean, also put whatever barrel you want on yeah. it. I mean, in today's world, you know, this is a specific package. In other words, they anticipate like this. We've talked about it in the past. If I had this gun, and this is the gun I was carrying, this would be my surgical gun. Right. And then I would have a, probably a folding stock uh, AR in a pack. Mm -hmm. If I'm moving, I would have this thing in the pack and have the rifle in my hands, the AR, mm -hmm. simply because I'm moving. Once I got someplace and got set up, then this is, I think, a setup gun rather than a humper through the woods gun. Um, yeah, and yeah. Let's, let's talk about that. I yeah. mean, this, this is, again, you've got heavy barrel, Yes. The long suppressor on there, right. Hubble telescope up right. here, right. big aluminum chassis, right. uh, and the Harris bipod. I mean, this thing has to weigh 20 effing pounds. I mean, how would you configure it? There's some quirks in the industry. So, like, I get a guy, and he goes, I go, why, why is the barrel so heavy? Why is the barrel so big? Why is the barrel? And the guy goes, well, it's more accurate, you know, yeah. if you're shooting groups. And I go, I get that. But you just handed me a business card that says one shot, one kill. Mm -hmm. Right. So, am I shooting groups with the gun, or am I doing so... Surgical work. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. End of comment. Uh, can, yes. Barrel, yes. If I was going to reconfigure it, I personally would like a little bit lighter barrel because I'm not interested at my age in humping heavy stuff. Mm. Um, the chassis, I think, is probably a weighted. Sometimes they'll put a weight in the bottom here too, and it depends on what you got. That doesn't seem to have one in it. And then um, this is 36X. Yeah, dude. I mean, you can shoot Wyoming with that freaking thing. Okay? <laughs> so like, um, and I stand by what I say. If you have one of these scopes at home, I don't care what kind, one to six, one to 35 Hubble, uh, always have it when you have it stored at its lowest power. Right. If you pick the gun up and you need it like right there, then I can get the job done. If it's on 35 power, I won't see nothing but this button. Okay. So if it's a fight, then I can always transition and go to a higher power. It's got a good trigger, and I would kind of go oh, like, well, why not? And all this stuff looks weird, okay, to some people, like old school, but I got like, I'm not that old. I understand the value of all that. I understand being able to adjust the length of pull. I understand being able to raise the comb up so you can get good eye relief, because those are the kind of things that always kill people like on a standard rifle when they come to class. You know, then we're trying to figure out how to duct tape, you know, a, a knee pad onder the cheek piece to You're get right, the sure. face high enough. Yeah, yeah. So all that stuff is like, cool. Um, weight wise, I just would like lighter, but mm -hmm. I get it. You know what I mean? I know what they're doing. And if you told me stay right here until the end of time, I go like, got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. And if I had to leave it, like I'm going to leave it. I would simply stand up, pull the bolt, stick my pistol against the scope, pull the trigger, walk off, go half a mile and throw the bolt in the ditch and call it square. <laughs> that leader, at least I'm not getting shot with my own gun. So, uh, you know, uh, but the idea of running and humping that, maybe that, you, because yeah. I saw you slinging a waist and running like a, you know, Jackie Joyner this morning. Okay. Only a slightly different version, but like, uh, you get it. So I like it. Okay. I've got almost no valid complaints about the Solus, probably because I am a mere babe in the precision rifle community, but I do know what manufacturing fit, finish features, and most importantly, results are. And I personally saw all these guns get made. I saw the QC tested on state-of-the-art machinery in a brand new factory that Aero builds these guns in. I've shot through all the prototypes, through the production model, 
Dollar for dollar for an aluminum chassis high-end bolt-action rifle, this is pretty tough to beat, starting at $17.99, maybe less. If I were buying the complete gun, like I said, I would probably get the cheapest model, the 6.5 Creedmoor or the 308 Bravo version, which again, at the time of filming, is on sale for just $1,439 complete. Hell of a deal. Still a little chubby at 9.5, 10 pounds, but that's still 2 pounds lighter than the competition model. If you change your mind later, then you can just get the competition chassis and then sell the Bravo chassis on the version you bought. As I mentioned, the competition version of this rifle, extremely sturdy, extremely stable, very easy to shoot precisely, but it's big as shit. If you're going to park your fat ass on the line, then get this one. However, as you can see from this B-roll, I did ding it up quite a bit trying to run it through the Punisher at Thunder Ranch, shoot it from the rental car, and there are certain shooting positions you just can't contort yourself into when you've got a freaking 20 pound rifle and you factor in your glass and your bipod and your ammo and all the other shit that you put on it, like the suppressor, which also makes it a mile long. In other words, I tend to favor the lighter and more maneuverable precision rifle platforms, but I don't know what you're doing with it. I'm not much of a hunter, but I think that hunters wouldn't want to lug around the competition version like I did. On the other hand, PRS competition shooters are looking at this thing like, damn girl, this is exactly what I need. Now, I like the carbon fiber hunter version that they offer with the fluted barrel. Not only is it very, very, very good looking, but the hunter comes in at a svelte eight and a half pounds. However, it's usually the most expensive model at I think the MSRP is like 2200 or so. As I make this video, it's $2,000 and I'd consider that to be a steal. The Springfield Waypoint is over a pound lighter and a couple hundred dollars cheaper. I'd consider that to be a good alternative if you're looking for a mid high-end precision rifle for $2,000 or less and you don't want to opt into the Solus ecosystem. Or maybe you've got something super specific in mind. So picking up just the action or the barreled action will give you a solid and inexpensive foundation for your own build. It's like the lie that kindergarten teachers tell their students, your potential is endless except it's actually true here. Guys, did you enjoy this video? We are viewer supported. Arrow did not pay me to make this video. They were kind enough to let us go tour the factory. So we are viewer supported. We need you. Patreon, Utreon, Subscribestar, preferably Subscribestar, because if you get on Subscribestar or Utreon, you're at the $4.99 level or higher, you are automatically entered to win one of six Top Gun Supply $250 gift certificates that we give away every single month to six lucky winners. We also give away four Blue Alpha gift certificates in the amount of $100. You can get all kinds of good soft goods, slings, belts, whatever from Blue Alpha. But at the end of the day, I'm just glad you're watching. Thanks. Take care.